All right, so let's get started in another chemistry problem. So this problem says, which of the two compounds, PCl3 or PCl5, can be expected to have a larger dipole moment? Okay, so the thing with dipole moments is that they arise when you have unequal sharing of electrons. And we kind of talked about that in the last video. We said that when you have you know, two atoms that are bonded together, the more electronegative atom will have a larger electron cloud surrounding it because it's going to be stealing electrons from the less electronegative atom. So in this case, we have to make sure and keep in mind that dipole moments are vectors. So if you have two vectors that are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction, they will actually cancel out and you will have no net vector. So in this case, PCL3, if we draw a quick Lewis dot structure, and chemists tend to draw the head of the arrow pointing towards the more electronegative atom, and we don't don't forget the uh, lone pair on the phosphorus. So um, a mistake that a lot of people make is that they forget that the lone pair itself has a dipole moment of its own, and it's actually fairly large. So we're going to have another dipole moment. So it's a little bit difficult to depict this molecule in um, 2D space because it, it is a, obviously a three-dimensional molecule. But as you can see, the dipole moments aren't really canceling out, right? You have these chlorines that are spread around. The phosphorus, you can add in the lone pairs if you want. And you also have this electron cloud, which is trying to be as far away as it can from these chlorine molecules, okay? So you're going to have a net dipole in this case, all right? And if you want to talk about the Vesper shapes, um, you're just going to have to memorize them for the exam. This one is called trigonal, trigonal pyramidal or I guess in this um, specific example, it's just pyramidal. And as far as a PCL5 goes, that would be a trigonal bipyramidal, right? And if you try to draw in as best as you can, if you try to imagine this in three-dimensional space, you can see that um, all the dipole moments would actually cancel out for this specific molecule. So in that case, um, and we actually wouldn't have a lone pair on the phosphorus because it has a zero formal charge when you just give it single bonds. So in this case, you would have no net dipole for PCL5 and a net dipole for PCL3. And as far as the shape goes, as I said it before, it's pyramidal, so the answer would be B.